What's going on, you guys? It's Dimitri Christie. I'm a real estate investor and broker here in the Raleigh, North Carolina area with the Morton Bradbury team at eXp Realty. Today, I'm going to talk to you about my five requirements for any contractor that I hire for my rehab projects or my home repairs. So let's jump right into it. My five sets of requirements that I go through are first that the contractor has to have a track record. This means that they have to have pictures and clients and reviews that show their previous projects properties and the previous projects that they've completed. Usually I love to look at the before and the after. And then also I like to talk to the clients if I can as references that they previously done work for. Or if not, obviously reviews typically do a good good job of showing their quality and how the previous clients have taken the work that they've done. My second point in hiring a contractor is that they have to have great communication skills. This is extremely important. Of course, in any professional business, whether you're working a corporate job or you're running an entrepreneurship type business, communication is key between clients, between contractors, vendors, bosses, managers, all of the sort. So communication is very key. And honestly, a lot of contractors have terrible communication. They won't answer your texts. They won't answer your calls. They work on their own time. And that's just not a recipe for success. If that's something that you're experiencing, you need to fire that contractor, move on, find someone else. So that's a big requirement for me. One way that I like to prove that they have good communication skills is I both call, text, and if possible, email them. And then I see what is their response time? And then also, what are they, how are they responding? Is it short? Is it detailed? Is it thought through and put with effort in their responses? Um, how does that communication go? There's kind of an interview process along the way. You don't just hire a contractor just off the bat. So two is communication. Three is going to be their pricing. So how are they pricing their projects? This is a huge thing for me because I, number one, don't want to get robbed. After doing some rehab projects and whatnot, I kind of understand what things should cost to be repaired, to be worked on and whatnot. Um, and I don't want to get robbed. There's no reason why fixing a water faucet should cost a thousand dollars. Okay. That's really between a 50 to $200 job, depending on who you're talking to. So there's that to keep in mind. But secondly, I really don't want the contractors to undershoot how much they're getting paid either. There's truly a balance. So although I don't want to get overcharged, I'm happy to pay a contractor what they want to get paid if the work is going to be quality and if they're going to have a good communication. So that segues into point number four. So point number four is going to be what is their integrity and their honesty throughout the process, whether that be talking to you both on their previous work, on their communication skills, on their timing, but also in the work that they're doing for you. How are they doing that? Are they doing it with integrity? Now, this is something that's a little bit difficult to really gauge until you start working with them. However, going through reviews, going and seeing the past projects that they've done before and after pictures, seeing what past clients have said about them really can help you make a decision before you jump into a project with them. Um, so those are my top four. And then number five is going to be timeliness. This all ties in to their integrity, to their communication, you know, to their past experience and their track record. Number five is going to be timeliness because if there's a project that takes only two days, you don't want it running on three, four, five days because of, you know, whatever it may be. You want this contractor to get in you want them to start the work. And if there are things that come up, because naturally they do, you want that to be, again, part of the communication that they can tell you, hey, this happened, this came up, it's going to delay us one, two, three days, whatever it may be, because we have to address this issue and then get back to their actual project. If they're experienced, going back to the track record, they should know how long this bump in the road should add on to the project. Um, so that's also something that's very important is not only knowing the time frame and giving quality estimates before they start, but also keeping you updated along the way. And then lastly is actually completing the project when they say they're going to complete it. Because if they're running long, they're costing you more 
more money. They're losing money because the more time that they spend on this project, they can't spend doing a different project. So then they oftentimes get frustrated. Maybe their quality of work will go down. And that's just kind of a recipe for disaster in all aspects overall. So these are my top five ways that I vet and my requirements for contractors. So this is something that's important. This is something I run through with each of them. Most of the times they don't know I'm actually interviewing them and that's exactly how it should be because why would I want them to know, okay, this is what I'm looking for. If this is exactly what I want to see and have them prove, again, part of that integrity. Is it just for show and then I hire them and then the project goes south or is it going to be a project that from the start, I get to see their true character and they show that throughout. So I hope these five tips helped. The five requirements of hiring a contractor contractor they are the one their communication before during and after how are they communicating with you two their pricing are they overcharging you or are they undershooting themselves that's very important three is going to be their track record and their reviews from their clients on google and facebook four is going to be their integrity and their work and their honesty throughout the process and five lastly is going to be their timeliness throughout the project are they sticking to a timeline that they've communicated and then also if there's any road bumps communicating those delays but finishing when they say they're going to finish i hope this helped you today in your contractor search whether it be for your home renovations and repairs or an investment property renovation and repairs this is really some great information that i like to share with others who maybe not have gone through the the process or maybe confused because they've been burned through a few contractors if this helped you please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on tiktok and instagram and i look forward to talking to you soon have a great day